hey guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button and if this isn't your first time welcome back I did just graduate um, about mm, three weeks ago from Oakland University with two bachelor's degrees in psychology and communication so I get the struggle, okay? I was Googling, how should I do my makeup? How should I do my hair? I understand, and I really hope that this video helped somebody. I know graduations are happening right now or in the near future. So, if you would like to see how I got this nice, summery, springy makeup look, stay tuned. First, I'm going to moisturize my face with my Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid. And I really, really love this stuff. I already did my eyebrows off of camera. Um, if you would like to have a new updated eyebrow routine, make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'm just going to set them in place with this clear mascara. Just to make sure they stay where I want them to and there's no little flyaways. Next, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Eye Primer. And it's just like a little stick that you just put on your eye. I'm going to put that right on my lid and then I'm going to blend it all over my eye. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk and put that on my eyelid and also blend that out with my finger. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Avant Pop Palette, and I'm going to take this light pink and also the hot pink in the corner and put that all over my lid with this flat, um, dense brush. It was a little hard to get all of these colors to show up, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to take this orange color and take a fluffy brush and put that onto the top of my eyelid and also blend it into the pink. This is my first time doing a really bright, colorful eyeshadow look, so don't go too hard on me. I'm just showing you guys what I did. I'm going to take this black um eyeshadow and put it into my crease on the corner just to give this look a little bit more dimension. I'm going to take this eyeshadow from H&M, yes H&M, in the color Ginger Snap. I absolutely love this eyeshadow. It's kind of like a metallic-y orange, burnt orange color and I'm just going to put that on top of the orange just to give it a little bit more pop. Then I'm gonna try to blend out those harsh lines with this clean, fluffy brush. I'm gonna take my NYX eyeshadow in the color STFU and I'm gonna put that in the corner of my eyes. Again, it was kind of hard to get these colors to show up, so. You'll see me just packing it on there and then spreading it out a little bit and packing it and packing it and packing it on there some more. <laughs> then I'm going to take the eye pencil again and put that on my lower lash line and blend that out with my finger. And I'm going to take this teal green blue color and just put that on top of the white. make sure I blend that between the yellow as well then I already did my eyeliner off camera I was having a having a hard day but um I just extend that bluish green color right up under the black liner I'm gonna take these natural lashes by Eyelore. I got these from Ulta and they were on sale for like three dollars and then take my Rimmel super curler 24 hour mascara which I love and blend my lashes with them this was my very first time putting on lashes myself so I did it off camera I think they came out pretty well now I'm gonna take my Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser and put that all over where I have pores and then just kind of spread the extra out 
and I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 355 Classic Tan. I just got this foundation today for this video because I wanted to do 100% drugstore makeup and I didn't have a drugstore foundation but um, this color is a little bit darker than my face right now. It's winter time, you know how it goes but I haven't had my tan yet but I think it's okay and I'm just going to blend that all over my face with a damp sponge that I got from Real Techniques. And don't forget to blend it onto your ears and down your neck just so it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. Then I'm taking my LA Pro Girl Concealer and put that right under my eyes. This is the same concealer that I use to clean up my eyebrows. And I'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and also on my chin. And also on my cubist bow just to define it a little bit. And I'm going to blend that out with a damp sponge as well. Then I'm going to set my foundation with my NYX Mineral Setting Powder. And I'm going to put a generous amount under my eyes with this fluffy brush. And then I'm going to just buff it into the rest of my skin to set my foundation. And then I'm going to brush off the excess powder underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to take this rounded brush and also use my Ulta Contour Kit, which I absolutely love. Taking this shade, I'm going to just start carving out where I want my contours to be. I like to start off with a lighter shade and then move to darker just to define it and give it more dimension. And I'm take one shade darker in the same palette and use this small fluffy brush to start defining where I want my cheeks to be and then I'm going to blend that out with the brush that I used before. And I made sure I blend it onto my temples and also around my forehead. And I'm going to take that same small fluffy brush and pinch it with the darker shade and snatch that nose honey. And I'm going to buff that out with the same brush. Now I'm going to take my Carly by Bell palette and these two highlights to highlight the highest points on my face. So my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the bridge, my cupid's bow, and also right underneath my eyebrows. I really do love this palette. I'm going to take my Nivea Milk and Honey Chapstick. I absolutely love this stuff and I put it on every day underneath my lipstick. And I'm going to take this lipstick from the Lip Bar in the color Kiss Me. I love supporting um, this company because they're black female owned business from Detroit. And I'm going to put that all over my lips. This is really the only pink lipstick that I have. So I decided to use it and then I'm going to just give it a little bit more dimension by adding some brown eyeshadow to it because I didn't have my um, brown lip liner. And that's the final look. Liked it. So if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I feel like I did something, okay? <laughs> um, it was fun. I really enjoyed this video, so I'm definitely going to try to do more colorful looks now that I actually have colorful eyeshadow and things like that. I'm just going to play around with it and probably buy some more. So thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and until next time guys, congratulations to the class of 2016 and congratulations if you're watching this like five years from now. So.